Hello survivors and welcome to Temtem Swarm. We are continuing with the series. I just want to go over our skills because I did just redo them for our Platypet over here. I went and put more points into damage rather, into max HP and movement speed as well as range damage. Uh, I did put some into cooldown and the ultimate damage but I decided, you know what, uh, we the, it already does enough damage to kind of do everything. We're trying to go and beat the second elite boss that killed us last time. So we're going to try and do that in today's video. And maybe we can even finish the entire round. So uh, see what happens. Still have no idea how to get the synergies working and things like that. But this is all stuff that we will eventually figure out together. We did put a post out on YouTube on the community tab to find out from everyone if you would like it to be, uh, what was it, the, the words I'm looking for, if you wanted us to have episodic, uh, you know, Temtem videos, so where we're going to go and increase all of the... I mean, we're going to make videos step by step, so after this one we'll do everything and we won't touch the game until tomorrow's video. Or if you guys wanted me to go ahead, upload, uh, you know, upgrade a couple of things behind the scenes, play a bit, get to know the game a bit more. And it looks like a majority of you wanted to do, find everything else together, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to go for the thermal paste over here, reduce the cooldown of our technique. You can see it does synergize well with our uh, skill over there. It's only water techniques, or I mean, actually, the the car field doesn't need cooldown reduction because it's always up, but uh, it is what it is. I do want to try and complete the level today because there are some interesting things that I've seen, uh, not from my game, but from watching other people play the game, that looks like uh, we need to get there because it's really, really cool stuff. So hopefully we can fight the boss. Uh, which I know what it is, but I'm not going to say more until we actually get there because it's going to be fantastic. Um, we're going to go increase the level of car field. I think getting our skills maxed first could be the best thing for us. And we also want to get as many pan signs as possible because that's going to allow us to, of course, uh, deal more damage later on because we're going to get more upgrades in our skill tree. I mean, you could definitely see the difference it's making now so we're gonna grab water blade i mean i don't think we really needed water blade but we're gonna grab it anyway i think the car field is doing a fantastic job and now we're gonna go do this objective that just came up you can see because we did increase our damage quite a lot that we now don't have a problem killing things in the very beginning of the round which is fantastic All right, so we've got the nest event, which is just us destroying this thing. We can literally just stand here and destroy it. Perfect. It gave us laugh as well as pan suns. Uh, increase Temtem's damage. We're going to grab that. Because that's increasing the damage of everything that we own. So I don't know if we need to make our way to another section to maybe uh, do anything else over there. We're going to go and level up the car field over here, increase its fire rate even further. Ah, oh, so sorry guys. Still a bit sick. So just a bit of a cough here and there. post editing though you won't hear the coughing but it's there all right so i'm going to try and think where the next objective is going to be i think we we're in the right place anyway but that car field that one second cooldown on it it does feel okay um yeah we'll go for fierce claw oh, it looks pretty decent actually i haven't used it before so interesting animation choice it looks pretty cool and at least it hits a random uh, enemy so i don't have to worry about focusing in a certain direction to kind of get it to run there is a toxic skill which we haven't actually used yet um it's actually called uh, toxic ink and uh 
that one's the same as water blade where it is uh, functioning functioning the same way where you got to kind of aim it so i think having the fierce claw where we don't have to worry about which way we're aiming or whatever the case may be it is going to be a lot better for me and my playstyle. so just on on that note it's going to be better all right over here we need to stay slay the air i'm um, sorry defeat the po opposing temtems uh, it's these guys over here so we just need to kill all of them there aren't that many of them uh fluid barrier we're not gonna grab it we're gonna go and grab our fierce claw upgrade and we can go and increase actually we can do this even more go to level three over there we're getting a whack ton of xp from this which is fantastic gonna go and grab that i think we finished the event already we killed all of those monsters quite quickly gave us a lot of xp for doing that so we're actually in a really really strong position just before that sarcrox comes because we're gonna have to go and sort him out as well so five minutes is when he comes 10 minutes will be the next one and apparently you know from what i've seen the map is only 15 minutes long or at least when you fight the final boss of the map so let's see what happens i do like 15 minute time on a map uh, these games that are like half an hour long and things like that I, I kind of i find it quite hard to 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 you know for half an hour because the, the video lands up being a lot longer than just half an hour because you know we got to talk and explain ourselves and so on and so forth so it's just easier to when things are a little bit faster he got completely demolished that is fantastic what did we get we got fierce claw to level four wave got upgraded and we got some pantsons so really really good we're in a very strong position now we're going to upgrade our overall damage because that's water and the normal. And now we're getting green, green XP. I wonder if there is an XP increase, uh, like a, a stat that you can get in your skill tree, because that would be super helpful for absolutely every single one of them. Because obviously the more XP you earn, the faster you're able to get to your evolution. All right, reduced cooldowns, that's also really good. I do wonder if the reduced cooldown affects the tick rate of the car field. Um, the only way we could really do that is by pausing and looking at car field now because it was one second. But I think we'll max out the cooldown first before we, we have a look at that and we're able to say X, Y, and Z. So very interesting to know if it would affect it or not. Uh, lunchbox max HP no I think we're good we're gonna go and increase the damage of all of our attacks and we nearly have our ultimate up again we actually do have our ultimate up again so we are doing super well I don't feel like I'm in any danger whatsoever I just I'm not sure where the next objective is gonna spawn they always spawn at the same time uh, at this on the same maps and also at the same location so you know after a while of farming you do get used to it and you'll be like okay well the next one's going to be down in this direction let's start heading there now so when the event does occur you're able to get there sooner and therefore kill things faster and finish the event before like, let's say the boss spawns or whatever the case may be in that instance so there is the other skill it's called toxic ink uh, it does synergize with two of our upgrades but we do not i mean this is much much better five percent increased damage on everything that we can go and uh, get so i'd rather go for that again the skill is a frontal uh, attack like water blade and i'm not really you know in the, the the mood right now to play that kind of skill so We'll, we'll just play with everything else. And now we need to just stay in the circle for 15 seconds. We'll use our ultimate over here to kill everything around us, give us a bit more time. And that's going to put us in a much better spot. So six more seconds and that's done. Uh, don't know what we get as a reward, probably a chest. 
but you were very happy. There you go. It was a chest indeed. We got thermal plate, max fierce claw. Oh, it was a four piece chest and then 210 uh, pan suns with another level coming very, very soon. As soon as we've killed one or two more enemies. There we go. Increase the damage by 25%. Does this thing not have a max level or something? I could swear some of the stuff like you can only level up twice. Some of the stuff you level up like four times. This thing just keeps going. What is the max level we can upgrade it to then? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just like mentioning the obvious that we're seeing because I am more than happy to get a whole whack of extra free damage, you know. All right, the next objective has spawned down over here and we can increase the damage. Finally, it did finish. It goes to 30% increased damage, which is actually pretty decent amount of damage. And we also only need five more levels, ladies and gentlemen, five more levels, and we will be able to evolve finally for the, the first time in this uh, series. So hopefully we can do that. Just got to hope and pray that we get what we need to you know, enough XP that is. Picking up a magnet will obviously make it a lot easier. All right, so it's a nest again. So we just got to stand here. We got to go and destroy this thing now. Fam tabulous. And what was that? We got to freeze. So now all the enemies are freezing that were around us at the time. Didn't really get a lot of levels in our wave, but it's not like we have the choice of re-rolling. So we kind of got to just take what the game gives us. See if we can level up one more time before the next boss fight, at least. Yes, we did. And we can go for, I guess we'll go for cooldown reduction. Let's actually see, does it allow us to check? Uh, it doesn't give us a cooldown on the skill, unfortunately, when we go over it. So there isn't any way for us to check that. Synergies over here, you can see we don't have anything that really makes it the synergy. I don't know if that's actually even in the base, uh, you know, in the play test of this game right now. Or if that's something they plan to um, have unlocked later. These are things we still need to play a lot more for to figure out. So, you know, we, we will get there. But now we need to try and kill this dude without him killing us this time. Um, I'm in a bad spot there. And I need to get out. Ooh, we did not make it. That wasn't my fault though, to be fair. Just hitting him with water blade because it deals so much damage. All right, we managed to kill him. <coughs> what do we get now? We get Carfield max level. So the area extends and deals constant damage. It didn't really tell us what the, the level up gave us because we kind of already knew that's exactly what it did. We're gonna get movement speed over here. That is a really, really good. And I need another level or two. Oh man, I'm, I need to go find healing actually. Uh, toxic ink not happening. Go and grab more cooldown reduction. And hopefully we can do this. So our goal has been reached. We did beat Golzi. Or whatever his name was. I think it was Golzi. Give me healing. What is that? What does that do? I'm not even going to be able to pick that up without taking damage. Looks like it was to poison all of the enemies on the field, which is pretty good. I'm happy to poison everything in the immediate vicinity. But I would also be even happier if we got healing. Oh, there's a burn. I'm just looking for healing.
Healing or magnet would be really good as well. Oh man, this is not looking good for me. No, it can't end this way. Is that healing? <laughs> yes. All right, perfect. We get to finally level up our wave again. Yo, calm down. Objective over here, but I do want to just kill this mini elite first. Just need two more levels and we become so much stronger. Well, at least I think we do. I'm sure we do. Okay, we can burn everything around us. That's fine. Can't even stay on this thing long enough to activate the event. All right, we did. Uh, now it just says Pan Sun's Feast. So the more we kill things, the more money we get, which is pretty good, especially if you need money, which we do. Stop running into me. Although it doesn't look like they're dropping a lot of XP over there. So that doesn't help us. Um, I need more laugh. Again. There is a box over here. I did hear a clicking noise. I was wondering what that was. It turns out it's that it's saying that our ultimate is ready. And that did not help us live. Oh man, this is rough. We don't even get to see our our uh, final form. No. Give me laugh, please. No, there was a chance. Okay, we can level up wave again. Oh no, this is. Uh, We're gonna make it to the final boss and be like instantly nope we didn't even make it no as i was saying we're gonna make it to the final boss we landed up dying at the fifth 14 minute odd line uh we did do a little bit better we were defeated by oh, i can't remember this thing's name 14 minutes and 23 seconds uh mad bro i think it was its name was or whatever the case may be a lot of damage coming from carfield and wave uh did we unlock anything yes we did we actually unlocked a digital egg also a luck skill node which we will put points into now uh, the digital egg we'll have a look at that that was actually for defeating Gorzi. uh earn uh, 500 pound suns in a single match earn a thousand in a single match and break 10 boxes so let's go see what the luck does for us and the digital egg over here we'll take a look at that as well uh, before we go anywhere but where is luck because that is a stat I do actually want. So we get luck, which we were waiting for, increase Pansons gains and pick up absor absorption. So that's really, really good. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, money over here, so we can go and spend that. Um, I think I do want the magnet, but I think we'll keep that for next time, for the next upgrade. We'll just go and level up uh, luck as much as possible. I think that could, be come, could come in handy quite uh quite a bit and then if we click on play again it says yeah to capture this temtem beat the spot at three minutes mark on the map so uh after three minutes we'll be able to unlock it it is a digital egg so i have a good feeling of who it might be but before that we do have to try and beat the round that will be next episode let me know what your games guys thought about it please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember keep safe survivors until next time, cheers.